Hey guys, welcome to video blog 8 and I have a bit of stuff that I want to talk about with you guys. I haven't done a video blog in like two weeks so I have a lot of catching up to do. So I guess we'll just start off with the games that I've been playing. And to be honest, I really haven't been playing too much just because it's been a crazy week at work and really haven't had time to turn on the 360 or the PS3 or the Wii or anything like that too much throughout the week just because I've been kind of tired. So one game though in particular that I have been playing, not a lot of, but I have been playing and it's Resident Evil 5 for the Xbox 360. Really loving the game. I'm enjoying it. I wish it was a little bit more survival horror-ish. Um, it's not too many scares in this game and I was looking for more scares. Yet again, I'm only on chapter 3 so it could get scary later on down the line. But um, it's not too scary. It's more, you know, action adventure shooter type of thing. And I don't have a problem with that, but, you know, I miss the old days of being scared of Resident Evil games. So, yeah, I love the story in this. I'm getting up to, you know, good part in the story. It's giving me some backstory and letting me know what's going on and stuff like that. And I'm really enjoying it. I haven't played any co-op. I'm only playing through normal, but I'm definitely going to go back, play co-op. Not only that, but I'm going to uh, go back in and get all of the BSAA emblems and um, the treasures and stuff like that. Also still been playing Pokemon Diamond. And I know I said that I was going to get Pokemon Platinum coming up on Sunday. But I think I'm not going to get it until the DSi comes out. Uh, so I'll pick it up with my DSi. I'm not going to get it just because I'm still playing through this one. And even though Pokemon Platinum has, you know, a little bit more to offer from this game. I figured I might as well finish this game first. So this is definitely going to get finished first before I get Platinum. Also been playing Retro Game Challenge and I'm almost towards the end. I am playing on the Guardia Quest. I think it's called the RPG part of the game and it's really fun. Definitely, I want to thank everyone out there that recommended this game. And if you grew up in the 80s or you grew up playing, you know, Nintendo games, those 8-bit games, you're going to love this. It's pure nostalgia and you're going to love it. So definitely pick this up if you're interested in it. And I should have a review coming up on Saturday or Sunday. So, one thing that I wanted to touch on um, has to do with Resident Evil 5. At the end of last week, or maybe the beginning of this week, Capcom announced that they were coming out. There was going to be downloadable content for the game. It's going to be a versus mode. And a lot of people are up in arms just because you have to pay five bucks for it, 400 Microsoft points. And, um, you know, a lot of people are complaining because of the fact that they figure, hey, you know, it could have easily been on the disc, or it might even be on the disc. Why should you charge money for it? Honestly, in my opinion, um, I'm not too worried about it um, just because it's only $5. And I know people out there, you know, don't have $5 to spare. They, they just pick the game up and they don't want to spend extra money on it. And I can totally understand. I guess you have a right to be upset. But I don't really care about it too much um, just because, I mean, to me, the versus mode you know, that's not what a Resident Evil is about. And Capcom is just trying something new. And I don't mind that they're doing that. Um, is it shady? Okay, it might be shady for them to do this. But, you know, I'm going to pay the 400 Microsoft points. And I'm going to check out the Versus mode and see what it has to offer. I know it's going to be a different experience just because... For one, you can't run and shoot in Resident Evil 5. So it's going to be like a slower experience type of thing. I think it's like a deathmatch type of versus mode. I'm not quite sure, but um, yeah, I don't really care about it too much. I know a lot of people, you know, have been wondering what I feel on the whole situation and I really don't care about it too much. Um, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to download it and I'm going to play through it and I'll give you guys my opinion on it. Is it worth five bucks or not? You know, so, um, but I can totally see why people are upset about it. I, on the other hand, I just don't really care. Either you love it or you hate it. If you like the idea that there's going to be a versus mode, support Capcom, support the series, support the game, whatever. Pay the 400 points, $5 for the versus mode. If not, don't support it. And, um, you know, I, had, I know it has a lot to do with principles. You know, is it right to do this? It might not be right, but that's the way it's going. And... You know, I don't think it's worth even complaining about. So at least they're not charging like 800 or 1600 points for the game for the versus mode. Then that would be kind of like a problem for me. But, you know, it's only 400 points. I don't really mind it too much. So, yeah, versus mode coming out sometime soon. Who knows for Resident Evil 5. 
Also, um, I've got my issue. Let me cover up my address. My issue of Game Informer magazine with the cover story of Bioshock 2 on it. And I read through it. Really cool. First and foremost, it comes with this really cool poster. And it, I haven't opened it up yet. Um, but... Yeah, it says a whole lot about the game. It doesn't mention anything about the story because they don't want to give that away. But uh, for those of you that don't know, it's a sequel to Bioshock, which is one of, well, I'm not even going to say one of. It is my favorite game of this generation. I love everything about Bioshock. Love the environment, the story, the characters, every, the characters the enemies, all of the stuff in the game I really enjoyed about the game. The audio logs, which basically are hidden throughout the environment and whenever you collect an audio log you can play through it and it tells you more about the story which is awesome. You get bits and pieces of different people's encounters with you know, what's been going on so that's really cool. Bioshock 2 however has you playing as a big daddy and it's not just any big daddy, it's the first ever big daddy, which is awesome. Um, you can harvest or you can adopt little sisters, which is pretty cool. You can use them as your partners. But then you also have enemies still coming after you, splicers, all that type of stuff. Big sisters um, come after you as well, which is crazy. I mean, they said that big sisters are really powerful. So, yeah, Bioshock 2 is coming out soon. Um... And I'm really excited about that. I know I said Resident Evil is my most anticipated game of 2009, but I had no clue that Bioshock 2 was coming out this year. I thought it was going to come out in 2010, so that just might be my most anticipated game of 2009. Um, also, they had an article on uh, Dead Space Extraction, which is coming for the Nintendo Wii this year. And... Um, you know, this looks like it's going to be pretty cool. It's a traditional uh, survival horror game, but then the twist is is that it's on rail. So it's an on rail shooter. Um, so it combines the survival horror and the rail shooter genres together. And um, it looks like it's going to be really cool. Like, I know they showed some of the screens in here, some of the pictures, and it looks pretty cool. Um, it says that it happens three weeks before... Um, three weeks before the events that went on in Dead Space. So it's a prequel to the game, and I'm really excited about that. It's about time that we get some love and some mature games on the console. And it also has an article for Infamous, which is another game that I'm really looking forward to. It's coming out on the PlayStation 3 in June. And um, I didn't get a chance to read through the whole article, but it's looking to be a really good-looking game. looks really, really good. So I'm excited about that. And I like the main character for some reason. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so that's the Game Informer. I haven't read through all this stuff. It has some reviews of, of some games in here. But I really do like Game Informer magazine. I know, I know a lot of people don't really care for it too much. But I don't really read the reviews that much. I don't take the reviews to heart. Uh, I more or less enjoy the cover stories and the previews and stuff like that. So, last thing I want to share with you guys before I go. My mom came over last night and brought me her old MacBook Pro. Uh, so, now I have a MacBook Pro. She got it in 2008. Um, and, yeah, she got it in the beginning of 2008 or maybe 2009. I'm not sure. But I'm having some troubles with it. I uh, can't seem to connect to the Internet to my... Um, my wireless connection I can't connect for some reason and I don't know if it has to do with my router if I have to get a compatible router that you know it's compatible with the Mac or whatever but um it's really slick I really like it and uh, I'm looking forward to to learning some more about it that's probably what I'm gonna be doing this weekend trying to fix this Mac up and see what I can do with it if any of you guys out there that have Macs have some suggestions what I should do um, as far as apps go and stuff like that. Some some of your favorite apps or point me to some videos. That'll be cool. Um, but yeah, it has um, iLife 2008. It has um, Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. iWork. All this stuff is already on it. Skype. Even though I don't know how to use Skype. Um, or I've never used Skype. So yeah. Got this MacBook Pro and I'm um, excited about it. Or if you guys have any, you know, suggested, should, sig can't even speak today, suggested, suggested, jeez, what's wrong with me, suggested reading for me on uh, MacBook Pros, that'll be cool. So, 
I know I've gone on way too long and I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I have one thing to say before I go. Um, Mario Booing123, I know you asked for my PlayStation 2 collection and that will be coming up tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. Also should have weekly pickups coming up and the review of Retro Game Challenge. So that's all guys. Thanks for watching.